Repetition, hard work, and giving it your all. That's what head coach Leroy Riles preaches at his practices. Come to practice every day, focus on just getting better at the little things, paying attention to detail, and you can't worry about all the other stuff. You got to just worry about the opponent that we got to play Friday night. Reach. That a boy, Luke. Riles comes from a prestigious go, go, go. background, on, coaching at South Florida and LSU and working under current Alabama head coach Nick Saban. Leaving it all to come coach high school football. The big reward is when you see the kids come back and say, Coach, thanks for teaching me this, and um, now I'm doing this for a living, and I got two kids and a wife, and, and so that, that's the fun part. Give me another group in here, go. Because again, I saw a community that just had uh, unbelievable support, and um, I saw them, they looked moved. Uh, the kids were just encouraged, and just, it looked like it um, rekindled a fire around here. I love him. He's a great guy. He's He might be a little hard, but he does it all for the good of the kids and, and for the team. So he's a great coach. I'm real happy to have him. Riles has taken his team to the playoffs every year since his arrival back in 06. Last year's dome visit put Clark Central back on the winning path, just like the good old days of Billy Henderson. If there aren't any expectations on you, then that means you probably haven't. So um, that's really good. It's all about how you handle it, like anything. Uh, our approach is one day at a time. I think as a team, over the past three years, we've learned that if we can just trust him, he's going to get us in the right spots, and we're going to do the right things, and it's going to all come together and work out. There's no doubt that success follows Riles, and as he continues coaching at Clark Central, he wants to be remembered not for his wins, but for his honesty. He tells it like it is. He doesn't sugarcoat it. He tells it exactly like it is. And uh, one thing, you can, you can bank on that. Three on three. One, two, three. Let's go, hustle, hustle, hustle. Let's go, Let's go. It's after school, and the West Versailles Wolverines are on the football field for another day of practice. But for senior safety Trey Rude, he is fighting for much more. This is his second go around with lung cancer. It's just one of those things that you would think that could never happen to you, and it, you know now that it has, just like you got to take it on. It's just it is what it is, and it's a part of life. Trey was diagnosed with stage three cancer in his freshman year of high school. After successful treatments, the doctors found no cancer, but this summer took a turn for the worse. They found a stage four growth. The first time, obviously, was a shock, and the second time was they came back. You know, it was. It, it, I mean, I don't want to say it was worse, but it was it was a bigger shock. Trey says he has seen success in his treatments. Coach Hepler says the team honors him in a special way. Pray for Trey bracelets. Uh, Trey's grandma had these made, and uh, people all over the country are wearing them. It's amazing. Wow. Uh, that's just to remind people, hey, you get a second during the day, just say a prayer for him and just keep them in your heart and remember them and keep praying for his healing. A few weeks ago, Trey won homecoming king here on this field. But tonight is senior night and emotions are expected to run high. Just I think the feeling from all the seniors are it's going to be emotional, yeah, but just knowing, hey, we're always going to be your teammate, man, no matter what the situation is. It's just going to be my last night out here on this field and, uh, you know, just knowing that I'm never going to be able to play another game on this field is just going to be pretty big to me. Teammates say Trey has been a great leader and role model for the community. Though the team won't make it to the playoffs this year, Coach Hepler still says there is one attribute he wishes his players could take from Trey. If all our guys were that tough, <laughs> we, we, may, uh, we could line up and play the Green Bay Packers and not, not lose. From the Grady College, Thomas Wilson, WNEG, Northeast Georgia.